We're both skinny guys, uh, so I can say this to another skinny guy. You had that first home run last night, and you've had a you know a handful of them this year. Where does your power come from? Because you're not a big guy. Uh, I couldn't tell you. It's uh, I guess just a part of me, and um, I've kind of I guess I'm small for for being how strong I am. I'm, I'm kind of small, but you know I just try to put the barrel on the ball, and hopefully the swing does does enough for for me to get the ball out of the ballpark. And last night it did. What was that feeling like last night for you as you were rounding the bases? It's kind of—I laugh every time I hit a home run because I think it's funny. Um, it doesn't happen very often. I'm, I'm always smiling, so I'm pretty sure everybody saw that last night. But uh, I mean, it's exciting. It's, I, I love it, and it's, it's a good feeling. I don't get to feel it very often, so I try to enjoy it. Have your teammates been giving you a little bit of grief over the last handful of weeks as they've gotten to know you about your body type, about your size? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you saw yesterday the comments that uh, Desi and Tanner made. So, and it's all good fun. I get it all the time, and um, I mean, I. I I don't, I don't necessarily deserve it, but I expect it from, from everybody, so I'm used to it. You mentioned Desi. Um, he had really nice things to say about you, your work ethic. Um, you've gotten to know him a little bit in the five weeks that you've been up here. What has he meant to you, and what have you picked up from him in your time around him? Um, I mean, he means a lot to me. The thing that I've learned most from him is just how to be a good person. I, he's, he's genuinely a really good person, and he's handled everything awesome. I mean, with me, with his year and for agency, I know it's tough on him and um, he's just a good person and how to, how to go about your business and um, be a nice guy. He's always talking to people, umpires, and uh, it seems to be like it seems to me that he's um, I guess kind of close with everyone, you know, and I think that's something special in order to be a good teammate and be a good friend. You gotta, you gotta be a good person, I think, and, and he, he does that and um, I admire it. You've been up here now for a little bit. You've gotten some playing time, but you've also gotten a lot of time to just watch and to listen and to learn. What have been kind of the big takeaways for you over this stretch that you've been up here and, and getting a taste of the major league uh, level? Uh, you know, just what to expect from myself and, and from others, I guess. Um, going in there and um, trying to make the most of each and every opportunity, whether it's base running, got to be ready for that, and um, how to prepare yourself for, for small opportunities like that coming off the bench. I think I've learned that a lot, and then in the few starts I've gotten, I've I've gotten a chance to face a lot of good pitching, and um, I'm starting to learn what it takes to, to hit at the level, obviously, and um, guys are a little bit harder up here and, and uh, more consistent, so um, you got to be on top of your game and just try to get in there every day and work on whatever I can to uh, make myself better and be able to compete at this level. It's been a crazy year for you. Two different organizations, four different teams uh, through the minors up to the major leagues. Is it going to be nice to kind of decompress when the season's over? What's been the toughest part of all this, and kind of how much of a grind has it been for you? Um, we'll see. I mean, as of right now, going to the fall league, so it's, it might be a fifth team. But, you know, I just try to embrace it. I enjoy playing baseball. Anytime I can get out there, I, I really enjoy it. Um, it's not necessarily a job to me. I, I would probably play for free, and I want to tell everybody that. But, um, you know, I, I just I enjoy it. So it, it's it's been fun changing teams, um, meeting different people. But it's definitely going to be nice this offseason to kind of be in one spot and relax and uh, hang out with some friends and then uh, get ready for next season. We look forward to seeing a lot more from you, Trey. Thanks. I hope so. Thanks for having me.